Hey guys, it's Anthony here, and today I'm going to be covering what I think are the five top transfer flops for this season. The reason I'm doing this now is because the season's started to come to a bit of an end. There's only a few more games left to go. So, I've said I've chosen five transfer flops, and this is just my opinion, by the way. Please don't get rage or anything in the comments. I do appreciate your feedback and your opinions, but don't go too over the top. These are just my opinions, and everyone else is free to have their own opinions. So, the first transfer flop for me is this man, Koshoviak who went to PSV and I'm actually not sure how to spell his name but I think you guys know who I'm talking about Kotroviak the Polish centre defensive mid went to PSG from Sevilla and you know he was expected Along with players like Hatton Ben Arthur, along with players like Pastore Verratti, he was expected to help out that midfield and take them to challenging for the Champions League. But that hasn't happened. They were knocked out by Barcelona after a catastrophic 7 1 capitulation after a 4 0 lead. Now, as a centre defensive mid, he is a, de a defensive player. He's a defensive minded player. And he has to take some of the blame. When stuff like that happens, you can't blame all the centre backs and the full backs. The midfield does take part of the blame when it comes to the defensive duties. Sometimes even the strikers take the blame. So yeah, I reckon he's one of the top five transfer flops of the season. Now the second one is Ali Son. Now he went to Roma for 7.5 Oh, here he is. I'll just pop him on the bench. He went to Roma for 7.5 million. And he's a highly rated player. But he has, hasn't made a single appearance for Roma since coming to them. Now, if that's not a flop, I don't know what is. That is not the best at all. He's been held back by, to be fair, he's been held back by Shinzi, who's had a very good season. However, he should have made at least an appearance to not be a transfer flop. For 7.5 million, that's no pocket change. So yeah, he is my second top 5 transfer flops. Now my third is Guedes. Now this is a bit controversial, because he is a young player, and he does need time to develop. But he did come for 33 million, and he hasn't been starting, he's been on the bench. So that's why I reckon, because he cost 33 million, I reckon he's a bit of a transfer flop. So he's my third transfer flop. My next transfer flop is John Stones. The reason I'm saying he's a transfer flop is because he gets a lot of criticism. He hasn't exactly fulfilled Otamendi not ultimately, company's role because of course company got injured so they need Man City needed someone to step up 
and John Stones hasn't really been that world class defender that they needed. So, and he was <laughs> incredibly expensive as well. So that's why I'm saying he is a transfer flop. So my final transfer flop is incredibly controversial in fact, but it is Paul Pogba. Now I know a, a lot of people disagree, and I kind of do as well with myself, but hear me out here. The reason why I say he's a transfer flop is just because of the insane price tag he has, and he has not been the best midfielder in the world this season. With a price tag that he came from, for, he should be the best midfielder in the world hands down this season, but he hasn't been, so that's why I'm saying he's a transfer flop. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys soon.